Hi, I'm Dr. Kirsten Garter, and I'm the head of mammography here at the Ruby E. Bergman Women's Diagnostic Center at Emanuel Medical Center in Turlock, California. We recommend that women begin screening mammography at age 40 if they are at average risk of breast cancer. And when I say average risk of breast cancer, that means most women. Some women, however, are at increased risk of breast cancer, either because they have a strong family history of breast cancer, or they may have one of the gene mutations that increases your risk of breast cancer. I think it's important to assess your risk for breast cancer before you get to be age 40. And so that's why we recommend by age 30 that you assess your risk and whether you are at higher than average risk of breast cancer and may need to start screening mammography early. When you come for your screening mammogram, make sure that you don't wear deodorant or powders because that can show up as artifacts on the mammogram. The technologist will take you back to the dressing room and give you a gown. When you're dressed, she will bring you to the mammography room and she will take a series of typically four pictures. After those are done and she checks to make sure that they look okay, then you will go home and you will get the results in a few days in the mail. The official report will go to your doctor and you will get a letter summarizing the results. The whole process of getting a screening mammogram takes about five to eight minutes to take the four pictures. One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime. And so the screening mammogram is the best tool that we have to catch those cancers early when they're more treatable and more likely to be cured. So we recommend regular screening mammography because finding cancers early, which we can do with screening mammography, gives us the best chance to cure the cancer. So screening mammograms can find cancer smaller than if you wait to have symptoms. And if you find the cancer early, it's less likely to have spread to other parts of the body and it's easier to cure. And also if the cancer is smaller, then it's less likely that you'll need to have chemotherapy. So the treatment is easier as well. Screening mammogram is for a woman without symptoms. So this is to find small cancers that you don't even know are there. Whereas a diagnostic mammogram, there's two reasons we might do a diagnostic mammogram. Either we saw something on your screening mammogram and we want to take a better look, or if you're having symptoms. For example, if you feel a lump in your breast or if you're having focal pain in your breast, then we would want you to come in for a diagnostic mammogram. The radiologist may have the technologist take special views and then we'll look at them and make sure that they're happy with the results before they send you home. If you feel a lump in your breast, it's very important to get a diagnostic mammogram and an ultrasound. And that way we can figure out if what you're feeling is something like a benign cyst or just some normal dense breast tissue, or if it's something that needs to be biopsied. Our breasts are made up of a combination of fat and denser fibroglandular tissue. Now the fat is very easy to see through on the mammograms since mammograms are just a specialized form of x-ray. But the dense breast tissue is harder to see through on the mammogram and it's easier for a small cancer to not be seen if your breast tissue is dense. In 2D mammography, we take two views of each breast. So this is a two-dimensional view of your breast. Whereas with the 3D tomosynthesis, there's a special mammogram machine that takes multiple views of the breast using lower dose x-rays. And then the computer puts that together into a three-dimensional view of your breast. And this way we can see small cancers that might be hidden by the dense breast tissue. So about one in 10 women who get a screening mammogram will be called back for additional views of the breast. And most of the time, we will take the additional views and maybe do an ultrasound. And then most of the time, you'll be sent home and there won't be anything else that we need to do. With a small percent of women, we will find something that we think needs to be biopsied. But I just want to reassure women not to freak out if you get called back for a diagnostic mammogram because it doesn't mean that you have breast cancer. So. After we take those additional views, you may well not even need a biopsy. 
We also have breast ultrasound. Um, we also do breast biopsies here, ultrasound biopsies and stereotactic biopsies. And we also have DEXA, which is to evaluate the bone density, particularly in women who are past menopause and who are at increased risk of hip fractures and compression fractures in the spine.